What's going on guys? So today we're gonna do something. I like I like to try to teach you guys stuff as we go and we've done cast net videos. We've done how to chum, chum your bait and throw the cast net videos. But there's still, and I know it's tough. It's a tough thing to learn. There's still a lot of people out there that can't throw cast nets. So I wanna show you today that you don't have to have a cast net to catch bait. All right, so basically what we have here is a, I call it a sabiki rig, some people call it a chicken rig. And what we've done is we've tipped each hook with a little piece of frozen squid. And what we're targeting is mostly targeting pinfish. Now if you take these little pieces of squid off and you find schools of bait around structure, you can catch your greenbacks, your thread fins. You can basically catch the same bait that we're catching in the cast net on this rig right here. They sell them at all the tackle stores, Walmart, um, you know, I think the most important thing is don't get too big of a rig. You want these, uh, what are these, like a size eight, Christian? Something like that, yep. seven, eight? Yep. So, but if you if you use this rig and you can't throw a cast net, you will still catch plenty of bait to have a successful day. So, let's kind of get into it and let's see what we can catch on it. Oh, there's one. All right, so what we're doing, guys, is we're at the, uh, we're at the Skyway Fishing Pier. Got a little lane snapper. Little lane snapper, he's gotta go back. He's not bait. But we're at the uh, we're at the Skyway Fishing Pier. One of the biggest things when you're at the Skyway Fishing Pier, if you're in a boat, something that drives me crazy, and I know I know you can't help it sometimes because you can't see up there in certain places. But when you're in a boat, what do you got, Christian? There you go, there's a good pen fish. Nice pinfish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Caleb's got a lizard fish up there. So when you're in a boat, guys, and you're out here, realize, please realize, that the people that are on this fishing pier, they're restricted as to where they can go. Um, you're in a boat. So give them some room. Try to be as courteous as you can. You can go anywhere you want. But basically, what you want to do is you want to find some structure with these sabiki rigs and depending on the current you want to use just enough weight to where you get it to the bottom and once it gets to the bottom once i know it's on the bottom we're going to tighten up just so we can feel it and almost immediately if you're fishing around structure with one of these you'll start feeling you know you'll start feeling them tap it oh, oh man missed it and you can see here that I'm already one drop, I'm missing three pieces of squid. So they're definitely down there. You know, sometimes you get lucky, you catch three or four at a time. But just because you're not great at throwing a cast net doesn't mean that you have to buy bait or, or settle for, you know, using something frozen or something like that. You can still be very successful catching bait this way and catch plenty of bait to fish all day. Because I'm still getting, you know, I'm getting a lot of calls and messages about how do you throw the cast net. And keep practicing with the cast net because it's going to make it a lot easier. But sometimes, even, you know, captains, I guess, or, or people that fish all the time that can throw a cast net still go to this technique to target certain baits. We're going to catch more pinfish doing this and, and hopefully grunts and pigfish. And... Oh, I was already getting hit. But like I said, just let it get to the bottom. Kind of hold tight, you'll feel them start bumping it like I just had a bite right there. And there you go. That's another little lane snapper, so I can't keep him. But you can catch a lot of really good bait this way. Because to me, I mean, fresh bait, you know, no matter how you get it, fresh bait's always better than frozen. Uh, even if you're using it dead, it's still better when it's fresh. It doesn't lose all its oils and its smell and everything else. So we're gonna bounce around out here and try to find, like I said, our, we're targeting right now grunts, pinfish. And you just let it get to the bottom. You just wait till you feel that, start feeling that tap and just lightly set the hook. If you fight the fish too hard on these, you're gonna pull the hook out of them. 
So kind of just gently set the hook and stay tight on them. And now I'm behind the camera, guys, because not only are we catching bait, Jake took my rod because it's actually it's actually really fun. What do you think, Jake? I mean, it's <laughs> it's still it's still fishing, especially if you got kids. You can bring your kids out, get them involved in catching bait. They're gonna get a bite almost every cast, and uh, you know it keeps them occupied. You're getting your bait at the same time. They're catching fish. Well, I was gonna say I was I was saying you get a bite every cast, but Jake. No, it's it's a really fun way to catch bait, guys. You're gonna catch plenty of bait. I can I can guarantee you that. You find structure, tip these jigs, you're gonna catch bait. Look at that, dude. That was like flat. You talk about a variety of bait. <laughs> These white baits will last a lot longer too because you're, you're hooking them, you're not getting them with the cast net and then letting them flop all over the bottom, on the floor of the boat. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. And two guys, when you, when you bring it up and you've got bait on here, the best way to control it is to grab that weight. Hold your line tight, grab that weight, and keep that line tight. If you try to grab them without grabbing that weight, you know, there's a good chance you're gonna get hooked or they're gonna get tangled real bad. But Christian couldn't really help that. I mean, he had, when you get that many baits on one thing, especially different baits, yeah. they swim different. Um, they can do that. Have you ever used uh, needle fish for bait? Not really, man. I mean, I've got a few snook on them and stuff. What do you, what are you using for? There's been a few times where I just struggled with bait, you know, couldn't find bait in a certain area, and all we could catch is, you know, small little white baits and, and needlefish, and one day I just so happened to just throw one on the hook, and we ended up catching a couple redfish on it, so don't be afraid to throw on, you know, any random bait that you catch, because they're out there, so obviously, you know, any bigger fish is gonna, might eat it, you know, so give it a shot. And one day, catch a needlefish, throw it on the hook, give it a shot. Dude, you never know. It's amazing what you'll fish with when yeah. you struggle getting bait. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden, you know, you, you can't get bait, and you're looking around, you're like, dang, that looks like that'd be good bait. Yeah. But you just put the needlefish down whole? Yeah. Oh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll slip the trot, the, uh, Oh, yeah, I'll slip the snot on it and just hook it right through there and just throw it out. Those needlefish stink really bad, too. They put out a, yeah, a really strong scent, so the, the redfish will find it, snug, whatever. That's crazy, dude. I've, I mean, I've, like I said, I've used them. I've used them as cut bait. I've yeah. never fished them with fly. But, uh, yeah, it is, it is crazy, dude. Everything starts looking like bait when you can't get bait. That's right. But, you know, guys, there's, there's no reason if you can't throw a cast net that you still can't catch bait. Um, you, you should absolutely be able to catch bait. And like I said, with with these sabiki rigs, we have we have these tipped right now with squid because we're looking to catch pinfish and grunts and stuff like that is what we're targeting, bigger pinfish and grunts. But you can take these off and you know with just the feather and the plain hook you'll still catch bait you, you can still catch something for bait and you know christian brought squid today to tip them with and i think you you like the squid because the squid is tougher yeah it stays on the hook longer a lot of times you can catch multiple baits on that same piece of squid so you know, instead of using like shrimp or yeah, something like that the, the shrimp the pinfish will hit it and eventually you know you may not catch the fish because they just eat it right off or you know Spend your whole, you whole spend time. the whole just loading up the sabiki. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got got fish on there? There you go. Yeah, it's amazing, man. You never know what you're going to catch. You talk about being able to catch a variety of baits. Put a sabiki rig on a typical squid and see what happens. Oh, you got more than one, don't you? No. Oh, yeah, there's two on there. Look at that, two good ones too, dude. See, on that shot there, when I was getting the bike, what I did was I just left it down there and I just kept, you know, kind of jigging, you know, trying to set the hook little by little to get these multiple fish on the line, so. So you don't really, you don't really like have to set the hook, but what you're doing when you're, when you're popping it like that, it's setting the hook as it goes on itself. Right, right. So, but you know, guys, the, the bottom line is, if the bait guy's not out, and you can't throw a cast net, your day's not over. Get creative and figure out what you can use for bait. 
All right, guys, so we just finished getting bait, and that's gonna be it for this show. We're gonna save what we do with the bait for another one. We're gonna go see if we can trade them in for some bigger fish. But uh, that was just an example right there of you don't have to have a cast net to catch bait and be successful. Had some really good tips from Captain Christian Lugo, Family Ties Charters. Um, put those things to work and you will catch bait. You'll catch your own bait. And if you catch your own bait, you're gonna catch fish. Don't settle for what's out there. You don't be, have to be able to throw a cast net. It's nice if you can, so keep working on it, but you don't have to be. So until next time, we appreciate you guys watching and we're gonna go see if we can get these things ate.